Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another Funko Pop. It was a bit of an impulse purchase. I think you're probably used to that with me by now. And it is from Wish. Let's get started. I was in Primark, it's dangerous going in there, there's so much good Disney stuff and I was actually trying to take something back and I was walking along the uh, till bit and I saw this and I thought oh no. <laughs> so obviously I had to look and then I stopped to have a, a look and take a photo of it and uh, then I had to say I'm really sorry to the lady behind me but could I please just reach past you and grab that because I'm being indecisive and is this it is the Wish Funko Valentino who is number 1394 apparently now I'm not sure if he is a Primark exclusive I'm thinking he probably isn't because he doesn't have a sticker on the box that says he is although I know some of them are um, however, looking on the back, the Asher and Star option, which is 1390, um, is currently available on Disney Store. So there's a good chance that he's not exclusive to um, Primark. So here he is, it's just little Valentino, he's so funky. Uh, I, yeah, I was saying to someone the other day, I'm not 100% sure about him as a character. Because when I saw the... Um, the trailer for Wish, which, hello, how many spoilers did that have? You, like, you, I was really annoyed, actually, when I saw the film, because you already knew that the the king is not a good guy. So um, that was disappointing. But anyway, uh, side note. <laughs> so um, I was kind of thinking he would be like, um, see, Jolly, Django, Jolly, I think. Um, the problems remembering his name last time, didn't I? Um, the goat from uh hunchback of notre dame anyway and i thought he would be like that i thought he i thought he would talk because he does in the film but i thought he'd be quite a cutesy character and actually he's got quite a lot of like fart jokes <laughs> and he's got that very deep voice hasn't he which is yeah it's funny but is he's not the typical cutie critter i guess that's more star's role so there you go, but that, that's my thoughts. But he is adorable to look at, and I do have the um, the drinks uh, thing behind me somewhere, uh, which is from when I went to see it at the cinema on opening night, and that was really funny because there were more adults in the cinema than there were kids. In fact, I'm not sure there were any kids there, just all adults. Here he is, here he is. Howdy, he says. I don't think he actually says that in the film, but I'm saying howdy on his behalf. So here's the back. So you have got a number of different characters in this series uh, from Disney Wish and that is all it says actually. It just says Disney Wish so presumably that is the series. You've got Asher and Star 1390, 1391 is Dahlia, uh, King Magnifico is 1392, Queen Amaya is 1393 and Valentino is 1394. So here he is. Let's have a look at him. He's quite a big box isn't he? I mean I suppose it is just a normal Funko Pop box but but because it's on its side and there's quite a lot of dead space it just it needs a background really actually that's true he doesn't have a background in here that would have made quite a difference anyway let's have a look in oh <laughs> please don't fall out Valentino if you could just stay there okay if he could just stay there he can't just stay there so I'm gonna take him out to show you because He's apparently doesn't want to stay in the box. Oh, oh he's, he's got like poorly poor. You know, if you've got cats or dogs, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. When they just come and look at you and they're like, <laughs> and you're like, have you hurt yourself? Are you okay? And they're just like, oh, <laughs> like you're <laughs> so cute. Bless them. There he is. There is Valentino. I do like it when he's dancing with the chickens. That is quite funny. That is quite funny, actually. I do like that. <laughs> he could hang out with Miko and Flit on my display. Bless him. Oh, that little tail is sassy too. Oh, he's got like... <laughs> Look at his little butt flap. <laughs> oh, that's cute. He does have a very sassy little expression. Let's see if we can... He's like... <laughs> <laughs> 
who that's <laughs> not always like but he's cute oh he he is quite characterful actually his ears are very characterful uh the tail the slight kind of weight on one hip and then the poorly poor thing is yeah that he does have a lot of uh, a lot of attitude actually he's he's really cute uh let's turn him around hopefully my fingers are not too much in the way to show you oh i should show you the ring i'm wearing as well i forgot about that yeah that's an amazon finest i was very pleased with that i'll show you in a minute there you go how cute is he so yeah and he's got his little hair texture on the top as well um and underneath he just says a lot of information none of which is that interesting oh look he's got little stripes as well around the bottom of his like jammies oh that's cute bless him so i quite like him so i think he might become part of my little critter critter corner of funkos but he's cute <laughs> oh anyway so yeah that is valentino and then this ring um that i got which you, oh, i'll just have to show you close up because you're not going to be able to hang on Yeah, so this ring I got was um, like the Infinity Stones style ring. It's not the real Pandora one, um, but it was a really good price. So I got it and it does on the inside say, uh, reality, soul, mind, time, power, and space. That's a really good question, isn't it? Like, especially if you're doing um, pin, you know when you do pin trading in the park and sometimes you can do it, they do like a quiz in order for you to choose a pin or something like that. It's really fun. Um, so that would be a really good one, would be like, what color or what, what, uh, yeah, what does the X color infinity stone represent? Or um, what trait does, yeah, uh, what color is, what is, is like the power trait, for example. So this goes uh, the red, orange, yellow, green, lilac and then dark blue. It's really pretty, I like wearing this. And it is sterling silver, it says, apparently, as well, and I've, so far not had any reason not to think it is um but i just like the fact that if i'm having a bad day i can wear this on my middle finger and be like snap just just snap if i need to <laughs> but yeah so i was really pleased with this they also do the earrings which i think i am going to get and i did end up wearing this to um bristol comic con which i went to recently or i had a great time and i'm going to show you a different video on that because i've got a couple of things to show from there um but yeah so i really like that so um yeah i will link that below as well but yeah here is valentino he is very cute and his box is also very sweet so oh that's what i could have done i could have just stood him on here couldn't try to show him to you there you go so i hope you enjoyed seeing him let me know what did you think of Valentino? Did you think he was, you know, what you were expecting from such a critter? Was he not quite what you were expecting? Did you like the star best? Star is cute. Star is cute. Uh, in his personality. And are we twinning with the Funko Pop or with the ring? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for joining me and Valentino. Take care and bye for now.